We're halfway through the season, yet American Horror Story Apocalypse is showing no signs of slowing down, drawing lines between the universes we know and love. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. A lot's happened since my first impressions video and we have a lot to talk about, so let's do it. Firstly, some of you guys were spot on with your predictions. I remember some comments saying that Michael will rise to power after being discovered by the witches and rising through the ranks, which after watching this week's episode isn't far from the truth. The first couple of episodes set up what we thought was the main cast. We soon learned that we were led astray. I can't say I was too upset to see most of these characters go, but the two teens, the young boy and the girl that were chosen, that storyline seemed to fizzle out with a bite of an apple. In my videos leading up to this season I did say that I hope they don't rely too much on fan service, but I was irrationally excited when Cordelia and company came through those gates. And although I wasn't a huge fan of season 5, it worked really well to explain the return of Queenie in last week's episode. And Mr March was a refreshing cameo. Speaking of which, if someone in the comments has figured out how this whole timeline works, I'm still not sure that the hotel storyline matches up with the dates of the apocalypse. If you figured it out, then let me know. One thing I wasn't a huge fan of though was Mallory and Coco's involvement in the coven and that Cordelia just cast a spell on them to make them forget their involvement. That's really nothing but lazy writing and I feel like they could have incorporated them into the story without having to resort to that. But that scene between Michael and Mallory where she revealed what could possibly be her true form was intense and I can't wait to see more of that. Cody Fern's Michael Langdon is doing an astounding job fitting into this already established cast. And even after just a couple of episodes, he'd already become one of my favourite horror story characters. And his chemistry with Kathy Bates is mesmerising. And I love the idea of an android Kathy Bates, by the way. This week's episode, episode 5, we got the innocent Misty Day back from the depths of hell. And a beautiful performance by the White Witch herself, Stevie Nicks. I don't know about you, but Coco's character I still can't stand. I know she's supposed to be that annoying presence, but what was with her showing up at Miss Robichaux's academy with her dad acting like a nine-year-old? However, despite these small gripes, I find myself so excited for each coming episode every week, and it's shaping up to be a really strong season. The Seven Wonders have been performed, Michael is reigning supreme, and things are only heating up. Next week's episode, episode 6, is titled Return to Murder House, so I don't think there's much to speculate there. But I think I speak for everyone when I say, bring on Jessica Lange. But that's all from me for now, but make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments as I'll be reading some of them in next week's video. But until then, thanks so much for hanging out, and if you had a good time, then spank that like button. And if you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.